Across the South, IAM members are raising standards and raising expectations. The South is the birthplace of our union, and we're, and which is unusual in the labor movement. And we're very proud of that fact that our union was born in Atlanta, Georgia. In Georgia, we flipped the state for the first time in 28 years. If we hadn't won those two Senate seats in Georgia, we would not have the majority in the Senate right now. Could not have passed a lot of legislation that was needed. Members across all of Georgia took to the streets to be part of our biggest political program there ever, led by a 43-year IAM member. It was a big push. We had a lot of support from a lot of different unions on the local level out of 2699 in Albany, Georgia. We were able to use our local lodge for support to push out in the surrounding communities as we tried to cover the state. Our members worked tirelessly on that campaign and we worked together with other unions and made that happen. In Puerto Rico, workers at the Lufthansa Technique plant succeeded together in joining the machinists for better benefits and representation. Today I find myself in front of the Lufthansa uh, Technique Puerto Rico where the workers of about 200 members had just won an election probably one of the most important elections here in Puerto Rico in, in a couple of decades. Just a great win for us there on Puerto Rico in increasing our presence on that island. Our folks stayed on it. They were persistent and uh, we're going to be able to negotiate good paying jobs there. It was emotional, you know, a lot of hard work and the fact that we were able to accomplish it, it felt like we just hit the biggest goal. In Florida, IAM sugar workers flew to Washington, D.C. to fight for the future of their industry, which has a $3.2 billion impact on their state. Sugar down there in the IAM, thanks to the great working relationship that we got, provides great paying jobs with great benefits. For instance, I'm a second generation. My daughter's out there now. You know, the benefits are the way we live, the way we can retire. I've seen many, many people retire from there, including my father, who actually, when they retired, were able to retire with dignity because of the IAM and the sugar industry. In Kentucky, we went head to head against a $100 million company, and we won. Together, IAM members who ship, receive, and warehouse equipment and supplies for the U.S. military scored a major win against Solution One Industries, successfully defending permanent bargaining unit jobs. We have a lot of service contract. We have a lot of airspace, manufacturing, defense work. We've got the Lockheed Martins. We build the rockets. We launch the rockets at Cape Canaveral. Just a wide variety of manufacturing that we do there. Just everything you can think of we have in the South. In Alabama, women working at Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union laid everything on the line to win their union years ago, striking for three months straight to win recognition of their historic all-women unit. These sisters were out for several weeks, but they held strong. They got a good contract, and they've been building on that contract ever since. 30 years later, their powerful shop is still 100% women and 100% union strong. And in Tennessee, 650 IAM members power the South, working around the clock to provide energy to 10,000 people with some of the highest standard jobs in their region. This TVA is a special thing. You know, it covers 90,000 square miles. Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky, and Mississippi. TVA's got the hydropower, they got gas, three nuclear sites with seven units, solar. Those are good paying, Southern Territory jobs, but we needed a process where we could keep our skill sets of our members up to date and give them additional training as needed. So far as the apprenticeship program, a lot of these apprentices coming in, they didn't have the opportunity. This apprenticeship gives them the opportunity. You get different projects, you have to make things. Then we get to come out here and work during the week also, and the guys out here are really great. Maybe we need to focus more on the infrastructure like we did in the Southeast. It'd be immeasurable what we could do for this country. And what is our cause? Let's create more jobs. Prosperity in the Valley. It's, it's their goal, it's our goal. Why not work together to make it happen? And that's what we're doing. At the end of the day, machinist might is the spark plug powering the South.